Hello, we are looking at trigonometry on Khan Academy and we're looking at graphs of trig functions. Here in particular, let's look at the amplitude of a sinusoidal function from an equation. So we'll do this quickly and I will try to explain a little bit about why it makes a lot of sense. So um, right here in all these equations, they're asking for the amplitude, the distance from the midline to either a maximum or a minimum point. Now, if you have an equation, it ends up being as easy as saying it's the absolute value of this number right here. So here the amplitude is 7 in the first one. So you just put 7 in for the Khan Academy exercise here. The amplitude is just 9, the absolute value of negative 9. Here it is 5, and in the last one it is 3, right down here. And that's it. That's all there is really to it. It's a really nice nice feature of these types of questions. You can ask them quickly, which is a relief. What's going on, though? Um, so let's go back. I think I have a Desmos window. Okay. What's going on here? So let's say I have a parent function sine, sine of x. And I want to now mess around with my amplitude, which we'll call A. We'll add a slider for that. Get rid of this other thing I have here. That was, that was for midlines. What happens to our function as we change this number? Let's say we make it right like this. Increase the amplitude. And then decrease the amplitude here. right? Now let's make a second function. Let's call it g of x. It's also the sine of x, but it's going to be negative a sine of x. So the reason I do this is so you can see that whatever the amplitude is on f of x, it's the opposite value for a in g of x. So let me say that again. Whatever the value is for a of f of x, g of x is the opposite value, but they have the same amplitudes. You see how the amplitude is the same? Amplitude is not about direction. It's about distance from the midline. So in all of these functions, my midline is 0. So whatever I make my amplitude, let's make it 7. So in f of x, a is positive 7. So f of x is the red function here. So if I go from 0 to a max, that's the height that's difference of 7, right? Up here is my peak at 7. But if I throw g of x in there, right, that distance from the midline is down to negative 7, but the distance is still 7. So whether I'm going down to negative 7 or up to positive 7, right, those amplitudes are equal. Even though they're opposite numbers, they're equal distances from the midline. So, of course, making the a value will reflect your function over the x-axis. They're reflections of each other. We're reflecting over the x-axis, but their amplitudes are, in fact, equal. Isn't that lovely? All right. Thank you.